Montana holds many spectacular sights. It doesn't matter where you will go. You will always find something new and astonishing. The Adel Mountains, an area that welcomes exploration and curiosity. Wolf Creek Canyon, a steep cliff made by a small stream. It has a rough elegance, rolling hills, jagged mountains. Yet it's not always nice when it comes time for the Inferno. We start at the beginning of the end of the Bootlegger Trail. This is a great place to start, out on the plains, before we enter a rougher territory. I have taken the drive from Great Falls to Helena countless times, and I don't think I'll ever forget it. The road shoots across the plains, then winds through the mountains, beginning with a smaller range called the Adel Mountains. It then cuts into the Wolf Creek Canyon and ends with an open valley. The plains are of course flat, but they give a taste of what's to come. Huge buttes jut out of the ground. Buttes, French for small hills, form when harder molten igneous rock covers less resistant rock, cooling and eroding over millions of years. Then, into the mountains. This area is filled with history, shown by numerous dikes and other volcanic hints. As you drive further into the field, the mountains become taller and more rigid. Tower Rock is an example of another volcanic form, called a lacolith. I have climbed all over it, and every time, I take another unmarked trail. Behind Tower Rock is a road that leads to another history-filled area. It goes to the heart of the Adel Mountains. This is a canyon, carved by one of the largest rivers, the Missouri. This heart's beauty is admired by people around the world, shown by their passions. Yet, it is a harsh feeling place.
One place in particular is the Hardy Bridge. This bridge is most known for its appearance in the 1987 film The Untouchables, playing a role as the U.S.-Canadian border. This entire area has been in many movies, even a film with Clint Eastwood. The Missouri River Canyon is spectacular when inside it because the jagged rocks stand so tall compared to the river that carved them. However, what if we could see it from above? Welcome to the heart of the Adels. The view from here never gets old. What makes it even more breathtaking is the untimely smoke, making the scene more sinister. Even though the conditions were harsh, I'm glad I saw it that day. The smoke was rapidly getting worse, so I had to hurry before I was hit with ash. I decided to get off the freeway and on a road I had never been on before to see what I could find. But all I found was darkness. a challenge to turn around on this road. I think I'm good now. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I had to get out the vlogging camera. There's smoke all above me. And uh, it's so dark here, it could pass for being like dusk or twilight like but seriously I can show you right here it's just past 6 610 that's crazy I knew I had to return back to the plains before the smoke got too bad or I would be driving in pitch black but I hadn't escaped trouble yet crazy look at that road I've got some pop Ooh, that sounded bad We're all good, don't worry about it. I decided to risk driving in dangerous conditions and drove to the other side of the cloud to a village called Craig. This town is usually pleasant looking, but it also doesn't usually have a big cloud of ash in front of it. It is a small fishing based village and offers only fishing stuff. Still, a great place to stop before my journey back.
Things had only gotten darker. But I would never forget any part of this experience. Especially after this. I made it to the other side, and the sun began to emerge from behind the shadows. A few months after the Montana fire season ended, I made my way back through. To finish the journey, I had started. And now, Wolf Creek Canyon. It is as big, if not bigger, than the Missouri River Canyon. Regardless, it is even more impressive being carved by only a small stream. The canyon ends at a halt, and the road darts across an open valley. This valley is made by rolling mountains, including the Sleeping Giant. This is a mountain that appears to be a large man in a coma. Over the next wave of mountains was the end of the road. This road will always be an open door of exploration for me. And I know I have much more to see. But that won't be a problem. This place is practically my backyard. <laughs> <laughs>